Remove the fuel tank. The governor arm is attached to the governor under the fuel tank by a bolt and nut. The arm has a thick spring that is attached to the throttle control. A small diameter spring has a solid linkage inside of it and connects the governor arm to the throttle butterfly. To adjust the governor, loosen the governor arm nut. Push the throttle to the wide open position and hold it. Notice the throttle butterfly is in the wide open position. Turn the governor shaft clockwise until it stops, then tighten the governor arm nut. Put the fuel tank back on and look up the idle and no load top speed adjustments in the service manual. For my engine, the idle speed is 1400 RPMs plus or minus 150. Maximum speed is 3850 or 3750 plus or minus 150 RPM, depending on what engine you have. The idle adjustment screw is located on the side of the carburetor. On my Fluke DVOM, I put it on the RPM setting. Since this engine fires the spark plug every revolution of the crankshaft, I set the meter to the correct setting. My probe was directional, so I made sure it was facing the correct way. Clamp the probe around the spark plug wire and start the engine. Turn the idle adjuster in for a faster idle and out for a slower idle. Adjust the screw until your tachometer reads 1400 RPMs plus or minus 150. Some tachometers have a slight lag between adjustments and what the tachometer displays. Wait a few seconds between adjustments. The maximum speed is adjusted by a screw on the throttle control plate. The screw limits how far the throttle can move, which limits the top speed. Turn the screw out to increase top speed and in to decrease top speed. After each adjustment, push the control lever to the fastest speed. 